Guys ready to come out? Get that now. The path to Mars is beset with challenges. And the crew and their families uh, have committed a year of their lives in service to NASA, to the country, and to humanity's exploration of space. And so thank you. Congratulations and thank you to the crew for um, putting your previous careers on pause for a year and uh, committing yourself to research that is going to enable our future exploration of space. Hello. <laughs> it's actually just so wonderful to be able to say hello to you all. <laughs> TAPIA 1 has been a unique experience with great challenges, joys and sorrows, and a lot of hard work with a fair bit of fun thrown in as well. I wish to thank the crew, my friends and family, and my partner Elliot, who told me not to name drop him, but he deserves it. <laughs> During this mission, these people have given an incredible richness of shared experience and conversation, a gift of love and support that made this year possible. I am humbled that being away on a one-year Mars analog brought me closer to those I was with and those I left back at home. Uh, I'm very grateful to have had this incredible opportunity to live for a year within the spirit of planetary adventure towards an exciting future. And I'm grateful for the chance to live the idea that we must utilize resources no faster than they can be replenished and produce waste no faster than they can be processed back into resources. We cannot live, dream, create, or explore on any significant time frame if we don't live these principles. But if we do, we can achieve and sustain amazing and inspiring things like exploring other worlds. And we can do these things together. We can use our senses of wonder and purpose to achieve peace and prosperity and to unlock knowledge and joy for the benefit of everyone and every part of planet Earth. So this has been a wonderful experience and I really hope this helps us get that much closer to the reality of putting boots on Mars. Thank you. Um, I've got a million thoughts just kind of racing through my head right now. Uh, for instance, you know, wow, that went by quickly. I really hope I don't cry standing up here in front of all of you. And um, as a physician, I'm so glad that my life events led me here instead of being a proctologist. I could still change my mind about that. I'm pretty young. I've been asked many times, why the obsession with Mars? Why go to Mars? Because it's possible. Because space can unite and bring out the best in us. Because, because it's one defining step that Earthlings will take to light the way into the next centuries.